Okay. I'm back from the bank. <laughs> it sounds silly, but I don't want to lose, like, 16, 17k worth of gold just because I'm underleveled for I, what I believe to be the next boss fight. You know, we're, we're barely scraping by in these boss fights, and that's, you know, for a reason. I need to go get some extra levels on my party. It's just... Why not try to see if we can do it while underleveled? I feel like that's more interesting anyway, to an extent. Hey, talk about being underleveled and I'm actively avoiding monster fights. <laughs> Yeah, so basically Twin Dragon Lash is the whip version of Hard Claw. It's, it's such a good attack. Although I do have to say, if we didn't want to grind on metal enemies, this is the perfect place to grind, because it's it's got a healing station right there. You could just fight enemies until you need to heal back up, and you just you get it for free. Hey, Phoenix level 35. Very nice. <laughs> Might as well get the free heal before we go upstairs. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Here we go. Wait. Come, Akila. Hand over those figs now. There's a good fellow. Very well, Godwin of the House of Git. If you desire them, they are yours. But in return... I must take your life. So, that's what this has all been about. Well, well. And I suppose that means they're not real figs either. The figs are the sacred fruit of the observatory. To use them as mere bargaining tokens would be sacrilege. I feigned the betrayal of my kind, my land, my pupil. Also, I would be brought before you. Akila's been a good guy the whole time! Oh, how delightfully clever of you! Unfortunately, the price for such a priceless piece of deception will have to be your life. But I will not betray the figs! <laughs> my friends, my family, my... my... Celestrian kind! I'll throw them away at the instant, but you dare desecrate these fruits! Oh, I'm gonna have to take your life! <laughs> 
unfortunately, the actual scene here has a lot more emotional impact than just... <laughs> than just a fruit friend. <laughs> No. I will vanquish you and release your prisoner, foul fiend. My friends, my family, F them. But figs? I will die before you take them from me. <laughs> oh, when did he get lightning powers? I want those. Is that really all you could muster? A little disappointing, I must say. Ooh. I doubt you'd even make decent feed for Barbarous. And he's hardly the fussy type. And, quite frankly, if you're not going to make yourself useful, I shall jolly well have to get rid of you. Ooh, that was way too easy. Are we gonna jump in? Are we gonna save him? Hmm, I don't think so. Ooh, he got cooked. Is this an apparition? Phoenix, can it truly be you? What brings you to this accursed place? Alright, looks like we're fighting the king himself. Let's, um, let's try not to die. <laughs> and what have we here? Another grub come crawling out of the woodwork, eh? But to make it this far, you must have beaten their respective gore ships. Good show. I certainly shan't be holding back then. Come along, let's give you the right royal thrashing you deserve. King Godwin draws near. Oh goodness. They really threw like two boss battles right in a row at us. Um, second verse, same as the first. All out attack, and then we'll deal with the impact after. <laughs> oh, that's why. Twin Dragon Lash takes up 10 MP. We don't really have the MP to be doing that, like, every turn. Um, you look humanoid. Let's do a Lashing of Love. <laughs> oh, that's that spell he used on Aquila, Kafriz. Critical hit with that. Oh, only 70 damage on a critical hit? No way. No way. Here, we're going to heal Rocky up from that. Thin air attack. That, heal that hits everybody. We're actually okay for the most part right now. Critical hit, very good. Only has eyes on Phoenix, that's actually something we can use to our advantage. Let's put Rocky in the line of fire of Phoenix for that. And we will heal ourselves up. Okay. 
Ooh, 87 points of damage. Ooh, 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 okay. That, that actually worked against our favor on that one. That's fine, we'll be fine. Come on, Phoenix, just go first. Okay, that's fine. Less fine, actually. Okay. Okay. <sighs> yeah. Wasted spell. It happens. Let's bring her back up. We'll attack. We will heal Phoenix. Yeah, just do a regular attack. That does, like, no damage. Mm, mm, mm. Stop that nonsense right now. Lanfon, come on. We can't do this every time. I knew I should have focused on raising her defenses. <laughs> Alright, um... Let's keep it up. More heal Lan Fawn. We will Whipping Boy Lan Fawn as well, just in case. And mid heal yourself, Jojo. Perfect. Perfect turn. That deals so much damage. Jeez. Thankfully, a regular attack does nothing. Perfect. <laughs> Let's throw a more heal on Rocky. Attack. Um. I guess we'll just, we'll attack. Hey, there we go. We took out King Godwin. I mean, personally, it doesn't make sense for the king to be stronger than his generals, right? Right? Do you have any idea what an insult to the glorious Giddish Empire your continued insistence on causing trouble constitutes? Hmm. I see I shall have to beat your lesson into you with a good deal more force. Very well, but I'm warning you, you won't like it. We haven't even seen his final form, apparently. Uh. King Godwin as some type of skeletal dragon monstrosity has appeared, and we have the exact same health we had as before. This is not good. <laughs> not good. Oh, goodness. Okay, uh, we need to heal Rocky immediately. Magic barrier? That's fine. We're not going to be casting spells on you. Ouch. Alright, we're gonna just focus on healing our... Well, actually, no. We're gonna do Reign of Pain. We'll have Jojo heal me. Because I can do more damage than Jojo can. For less magic points, at the very least.
I, I gotta say, I really appreciate that Lanfan is still the fastest out of all of us. <laughs> Rocky is still doing fine. We're okay. Critical hit. Very good. Alright, I will do a more heal on Rocky this turn. Rocky attack. Jojo. What can you do, Jojo? I guess just a regular attack again. Unless no, you don't have you don't have any magic water left. Him raising his defense, even just one stage, has really ruined a lot of stuff. Of course he's got an a uh, fire blast attack, of course. Disruptive wave, that's fine. We're not adding effects to us currently. Nine points of damage with your regular attack, Jojo. Come on. You're you're back to singular um, healing duties. Ouch. You know, we're going to attack normally again, but that's only because JoJo usually attacks before Rocky does. We might be able to power up Rocky's attack. Uh, this isn't good. Defense returns to normal. That's good. It was a critical hit, but he blocked with the shield. That is not fair. No. Lanfon, attack. We need to heal Phoenix. Oh, that's not good. Magic barrier, that's fine. Do whatever you want. I need to use no, I need I need to heal Jojo. Do you have magic water? You don't. <sighs> that stinks. Okay, that's fine. We'll make it work. What about you? You have a Sage's Elixir. Let's use that on Phoenix real quick. Perfect. That's fine. Rocky can take the hits. He's fine. L Eyes for Lawn Fawn. No, stop that. She's not going to survive this round if you do that. <laughs> Rage subsides. Fine. Whatever. Oh, 
critical hit on Rocky. Come on. Come on, heal him, heal him. Okay, casting the spell on someone else. Block with the shield, perfect. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. <laughs> uh, that was, that was too lucky. We have been getting, even though we've had some unlucky moments in this fight alone, we've had a lot of good luck. Uh, we're in a position where I can just attack this turn. This is so nice. Why can't we do this all the time? For the first time ever in this fight. <laughs> That's fine. Doing your regular attack is the best case scenario. Why don't you do that more often? Uh, okay. Let us heal ourselves. I have a good feeling. Let's do the Mercurial Thrust. Maybe we'll just take him out right now. <laughs> heal yourself. Hard Claw. Alright, I, I, I had a feeling. I took a gamble. It didn't work. It's fine. The people who got attacked are the ones getting healed this turn. We're still in good standing. All out attack. Let's go. Let's do a thunder thrust. Let's see if we can do it. Ouch. Over a hundred damage. Come on. And then you take out Lanfon. Come on. And then we win. Lanfon isn't going to get all the experience. But at least we win. Sorry, Lanfon. We'll, we'll work on your defense next time we do some alchemy and uh, armor purchasing. <laughs> Jojo gains a level. Lanfan might have gotten a level too. We will never know. Jojo learns a new spell, Kaswoosh, which is a very good attack spell, by the way. It, it attacks all enemies, I'm pretty sure. Or, if not, a group of enemies with a very powerful spell attack. Let's start putting those points into block. Or shield, specifically, I should say. Block and spiel. The Scepter of Git. It's a weapon we can't use. <laughs> you have come far, Phoenix. I feigned obedience to Godwin in the hope that I might free the Celestrians he had held captive, but I was too weak. But I do not hold my actions to be shameful. I did as I thought correct. My only regret is that I was forced to deceive you. But you have far exceeded all my hopes. You are become truly mighty. Phoenix, you... Ugh, come now, did you really think that was going to be enough to finish off Godwin of the House of Git? Phoenix! You... rotter. Now, I was fully expecting, like, a sacri- Oh no! You are... unharmed, Phoenix. 
praise be. It seems my journey ends here. For a second it looked like he deflected the scepter. Normally in like a, a, a self-sacrificing moment in like anime and, and whatnot. It's like he would have taken the blow, but he deflected it. I guess it was more of a he took the hit to attack Godwin, but no. You must finish this. You must free them. Free the Celestrians. Free him. Free my teacher. Oh, Corvus was a... This is why the girl hasn't been able to find Corvus. Corvus was a prisoner. Don't look so down in the heart, Phoenix. You did more than anyone could have hoped. You beat the boss of the bad guys for a start. Everyone will be pleased as Punch and Judy about that. Won't they? Eh? Listen, you. This is no time to stand around looking all down in the doldrums. Snap into it. There's Celestrians to be saved. Eh. <laughs> for a second I thought it was our character nodding, but it's her banging our character's head. They're probably being captivated somewhere else in the palace. Captivated instead of being held captive. We have to find them. Come on, look lovely. Aquila. So that's... <laughs> Lan Fan in her grave. Let's fix Lan Fan up real quick. So that's why. That's why Akila took the figs from us. And he still managed to give them to Apis Major. Because we were wondering why would he take them and actually still give them? He was pretending. I don't think we're going to have another fight before the next time we rest, so I'm not going to heal everybody else up. We need to save those Celestrians. And then we can solve this whole problem. We took care of King Godwin. The source of all of the evil. Oh, hey, a ghost. The defeat of King Godwin of the House of Git has released Gittingham Palace from a terrible curse. But beyond in the dungeon so long sealed lies a yet greater darkness. I will pray for your safety, my child, through the trials yet to come. Wayward sheep of the Great Shepherd, how may I be of service? All right, we can save here. Interesting. But what's the extra... the darkness to come? Oh, I guess we do have some more monsters down here. That's fine, we can take them. Uh, fight wisely, everybody. We got some normal enemies to fight here, but that's okay. All of this is going to be super simple, comparative to two boss fights in a row. Technically, three boss fights in a row. I'm actually very impressed with myself that I was able to get through all of that. I honestly expected to die in the King Godwin battle. Uh, I, I did know in advance, because I've played this game before, um, that it would be a two-part boss fight. I was expecting to lose. 
And there's Lan Fon's level up that she deserved at the end of the Godwin fight. It's fine. I don't imagine she'll be using Warcry during any of our fights, but there's the option. I may not look it, but I was once a soldier of the Empire, you know. Fool that I am, I disobeyed a direct order and ended up here. I was all fired up to fight and even die for good old Mother Empire. But I draw the line at channeling the power of monsters in order to make oneself more powerful. That really is the Bally Limit. So that's what they were doing. They were making themselves stronger by channeling the power of monsters. Is that why they're able to come back to life then? Maybe? So these enemies are just called claws, apparently. <laughs> and the Mandrake Marshal. Oh, that's interesting. Mini metal, very good, very good. Battlers Bracers, who did those go to? Uh, anyone except for a mage. <laughs> uh, yeah, you need... <laughs> Lan Fun, you need the defense more. <laughs> Have at it. <laughs> yeah, Lan Fun is much overdue for an equipment upgrade for armor. We haven't needed to do it in a long time, so I've kind of been holding off, and I guess that's my mistake. I don't know if I'm going to take care of it in between streams or not, but I definitely think that we need to go purchase the, like, basic martial artist outfit and do the alchemy train, improving them up and up and up and up, rather than just purchasing the best stuff. We'll see. We'll, we'll, I'll, I'll take a look into that probably in between streams. Or we'll do it on the next stream instead of moving the story along. <laughs> 300 years ago, King Godwin carried out a series of experiments using the power of a Celestrian he had taken captive. He used that power to turn loyal so soldiers into merciless butchers, and even to bring the dreaded Barbarus under his influence. This underground prison is the very place where those evil experiments were carried out. So Corvus was the original Celestrian prisoner that Godwin used to expand his empire, essentially. They were just initially attacking Wormwood Creek. They learned of his existence. They took him captive. But we still don't even know how he fell to Earth, how he fell to the Protectorate in the first place. Did something happen to him in particular? Really? Come on. I 
I was trying to go behind it. Oh well. All that for a medicinal herb, of course. What do we got down here? Oh, come on, don't miss the first one. Hey, Rocky level 37. Very good. Oh, we've got some graves. Interesting. We can't really interact with them, so they're just kind of decoration for the area.